Letterpress is trendy now. You're seeing sort of a renaissance of it. People are interested in getting away from their phones in the digital age. It's cool to see something that was physically made by hand. I think that people appreciate that more. It's the same reason why everybody's into vinyl records. There's warm, tactile quality to the sound. I would say that's the same thing with the letterpress poster. They're warmer, they're friendlier, they're human. You can tell in all their imperfections that somebody has touched them to make them. My name is Laura McDonald, and I live in the Annapolis Valley, and I run Deep Hollow Print. My printing press is the Vander Cook cylinder press, and it was made in the 1930s. I basically started out just wanting to make gig posters. Now I do carvings and images for commercial labeling. I do art prints and, and cards and other printed ephemera. I've done images of Blominant, Lunenburg, Halifax, my favorite pizza shop in Antigonish. I carved that. <laughs> I learned how to print before I learned how to design on a computer. My digital design is very much informed by what you can and can't do on a press. And, and those sort of rules that apply on a press typographically translate really well into making something beautiful digitally. I'm from Nova Scotia. I did leave when I was quite young and we moved around a lot. I lived in the States for most of my life. I moved back to Nova Scotia about 10 years ago. I was only planning on coming back here for a short time, but I just fell in love with the valley in particular and I never left. I found a really supportive environment here. Most of my clients are local. The music scene here is good for me, and the music scene in Nova Scotia as a whole have lots of cool musicians and bands to make posters for. House concerts have always been a passion of mine. Once I moved in here and had this beautiful print shop, I set aside a space specifically for music and for jamming and started what's called the Deep Hollow Sessions. People come, they watch the music, they can print their own poster. And it's just a great way to marry music and letterpress printing even more, which they're already associated in my mind. To learn more about letterpress printing, I went down to Nashville, Tennessee to work in a print shop called Hat Show Print. They have a great collection of all this old historic wood type. I used an H that was used on an old Hank Williams poster. And so I interned down there for a while and, and just learned a lot about how to make a good poster. I'm a printer, but I'm also a collector. <laughs> the ones you see in my shop. It's a mixture of my own work and also other printers that I admire. People say that I have a very distinct style. I use big wood type. They're very bold. They're very in your face. They're bright colors. I take a lot of influence from older letterpress posters, circus posters, old rodeo posters. You can see them from a distance and they kind of draw you in. Definitely a great satisfaction of seeing the physical poster in front of you when you're done and you can feel the impression of the letters on the paper. You can smell the ink. I can see the hard work and elbow grease that I put into it. And I think that shows in the work too. I think in a hundred years, letterpress will still be around. 